their ability to compare the Australian healthcare system against what goes on in like mm. real world, mm. you know, other parts of the world is just so strong. It gives students such an edge in the rest of their degree here, just being able to like pull examples from from Mexico, mm. a developing country, yeah, um, and other health system. Such an advantage. Yeah. G'day, I'm Rob and I'm with Casey from AIM Overseas. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Great. Good. We're talking about one of my most favourite, favouritest programs. Yeah. Tell me about the Public Health in Mexico program. Let's start with the destination. Yes. Tell me about Mexico City. Yeah, so Mexico City obviously um, is a really great place to be able to experience very different culture from what you'd be used to in Australia. Um, also for this program itself, really interesting to see sort of the public health program from that perspective too. Um, sort of compare with what you may already know about it. Also some amazing food um, to have when you're over there. So yeah, lots of different um, things to experience in Mexico. I was so blown away by Mexico City mm -hmm. because in the middle it's like hustle and bustle. You've got these districts that are real old world charm. Um, and then you go like an hour outside and boom, there's like 2000 year old pyramids. Yeah. They're insane, absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. um, and, and contrary to what you might in like the popular media, um, I felt very safe there. Like uni's in a very safe area as well. Um, but tell me about this program. Um, why is this topic so important right now? Yeah, that's a really good question. So I guess it's really important to be able to understand sort of for students who are studying this, so like health science students, medicine students, nursing students, sort of the implications for access to public health. Mm. Um, something we maybe take for granted over here. Um, and sort of, yeah, the effect that those different systems um, can have on the health of a population, um, determinants of health for, yeah, different sort of um, groups in that population. Um, yeah, really interesting to be able to get that perspective as well. Cool. What, what can students expect to learn on the program? Yeah, so you cover kind of health across the lifespan, pretty much, um, but also sort of cultural attitudes to health, um, environmental impacts on health as well. Um, and then different areas of health, like mental health, um, mm. maternal and neonatal health, child health care. So yeah, you do cover like quite um, a comprehensive range of um, things on that program. Yeah. The, the thing I think is so unique about this one is that, um, you know, it's such a different system over there and you have this diversity from like the overwhelmed public system right through to the most sophisticated private hospitals mm -hmm. pretty much in the world um, and everything in between um, and when students come back from that to Australia their ability to compare the Australian healthcare system against what goes on in like mm. real world mm. you know other parts of the world is just so strong it gives students such an edge in the rest of their degree here just being able to like pull examples from from Mexico, mm. a developing country, yeah, um, and other health system, such an advantage. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, um, what else, what else can students expect from the experience? What other sorts of things will they do? So definitely, one of the highlights of this is that there are so many site visits um, included. So you visit um, general hospital, uh, an aged care facility, a children's rehabilitation centre. So you really do get quite a hands-on perspective um, on a lot of those issues in Mexico, which yeah, sort of you can really compare to what you may have seen in the Australian system or your own degree. Um, yeah, so you get to see quite a lot. And cultural like activities? Uh, yeah, so you get to, like you mentioned, there's those amazing um, ancient pyramids so close to Mexico City, so you get to um, sort of spend a day there. Um, you also have a lot of different activities around Mexico City too. It's obviously, yeah, like a very diverse place, so you get to explore like the Frida Kahlo Museum, um, oh, cool. Milko, different areas of that, so yeah. It's, um, Lots of fun things to do. So, too. so for that, if you don't know what Sochi Milko oh, okay. is, you can't <laughs> spell it. It starts with an X, um, but like it's a, a waterway area where you get on these boats and mm. you've got mariachi players <laughs> on the on the canals. Like the Venice of Mexico. The Venice they of call Mexico. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. And just in general, like a student having an international study experience, um, what can they expect from that in terms of the kind of people they might meet on the program? Yeah, so it's a really good opportunity to sort of meet a lot of like-minded people over mm. there too, who you necessarily may not have met um, just studying in Australia, so yeah, studying at different universities than you, um, all bringing sort of a different perspective. So yeah, it's a great way to um, yeah, meet other Australian university students and too. that diversity is so important once again, isn't it? Like you imagine if you're um, a nursing student 
and suddenly you're in a class with students studying allied health and other things like that, diversity of opinion mm -hmm. really helps you know, round out your knowledge and uh, the holistic nature of your degree. That's awesome. That's right, yeah. Great. Thanks for chatting, Casey. It's been good to talk with you. No worries.